Good afternoon guys, I thank you for watching the video. I got an email from Stephen asking me about my when I camped up Loudon, sorry was it Loudon Hill? No. Straighten Monument. When I camped up Straighten Monument I had my Rab I sent 1100 sleeping bag. So I got an email from Stephen asking me about the sleeping bag. What's the difference between that one and the cheap one that I use? So I said I would make a video. So here is the video, guys. Also, I want to do a shout out to Scotch in the Rocks. If you could go and check his channel out, that would be good, guys. So here is the two sleeping bags that I've got. I've got a Chinese down one. It cost me forty pounds. It weighs 1.8 kilograms. It says it's rated to minus 20. The coldest I've ever used it in was minus 5. But it was inside a body, so. Not really used it in the winter, or have I? No. All my winter camps has been my British Army one. This is my Rab. I sent 1100, 2 kilograms, rated to minus 20, that is comfort, not uh, the, the limit, some people get that mixed up between comfort and limit, so there's a big difference in price, this was pricey this one, but I'll lay them down on the grass and I'll give you a closer look at the both of them. So you won't believe it guys, just as I start making the video, it starts to rain. Ay ay ay. So luckily I'll bring that tarp with me. Just to show that both of them do come with a uh, compression sacks. I do like the Rab one, it's got like a dry bag compression sack. That one's just your usual. You stuff it in and you pull it tight. So there we go, that is the the budget one, I got that for £40, this is the Rab I sent, they retail for over £200, £220 I think they are, so I don't know if we can see, but the Rab one does a loft better. When I did first get the cheap one, it really wasn't that good at lofting. Give you a look, but uh, after actually washing it, when I did buy it, it was more clumpy. It seemed a bit more in kind of clumps, but after washing it and using it, I've had this sleeping bag for uh, three years now. So after using it, it, it does it feels. When you first get it, it feels like you know, like a plastic bag type thing. The material is not the best on this one. I will be honest. They're not the most spacious either, but 
It has been a good sleeping bag for £40. I really could not see anything wrong with it. I would say to anybody on a budget to buy the cheaper one. It's got the baffles inside as well. See when you've got a sleeping bag. There we go. So it does have the baffles inside. To keep the heat in. It's got the drawstrings at the top here. There's a little zip. So yeah, it's a good sleeping bag for forty pounds, honestly. Here we have the Rab. The Rab one is longer, but it is a uh, extra long. As I'm six foot two, here we can see the difference. One thing I like about the Rab one is right, you you get. It's it illuminates in the darkness. The material feels nicer as well. But you, you get what you pay for, I suppose, don't you? The both of them are down, but it does say that the Rab one, the down, has been ethically treated and all that kind of thing. Whereas, who knows what happened with the Chinese one. So... The Rab one's got the baffles inside as well. I think this one is, is goose down, I'm sure. Oh, maybe that's my jacket. I don't know if it's goose down or... Goose down or duck down, I cannot remember. But it feels... It feels there's, there's a better grade of uh, feathers inside this one. You can feel the difference, honestly. You can feel it when you're still inside it. It does feel a bit warmer, but so if I was to pick out the two, as I said, forty pounds, two hundred pounds, you probably could buy four of them, couldn't you? But there we go. Uh, yeah, and it's wider. The rub one is wider as well. So you've got a bit more room inside it for if you're a bit bigger, like me. So there we go. I'll leave that up to you to decide what one... What one... It's basically what one suits your budget, really, isn't it? Down one, the, the cheap one's fine. So there we go guys, I thank you for watching the video, if you could please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down there, click the little bell but most of all I thank you for watching, thank you.